.NET doesn't warn you about memory leaks, but a possible solution is to use the .NET Meteor VS Code extension that allows you to get the memory dump. To visualize this dump, you can use the heapview.net tool. Let's open the project and install the heapview tool. To do this, enter this installation command. Once all of the tools are installed, open the Run and Debug tab and create the launch.json file. .NET Meteor applies settings for running, debugging, and profiling apps from this file. To profile an application, add a configuration entry with the profiler mode attribute set to GC dump. Save the modified launch.json file and select the profiling configuration from the drop down menu located next to the start button. We can now run the application to collect profiling data. Be sure to select run without debugging. Interact with the application. Our sample application includes multiple buttons that open various pages. Before collecting the memory dump, invoke the garbage collector's collect and wait for pending finalizers methods. We recommend that you call them multiple times because garbage is collected in multiple cycles. In the test app, we call these methods on the green button tap. Open the VS Code debug console window and execute the dump command. This command will create a memory dump.gc dump file in the Meteor folder. You should now see the memory dump file in the Meteor folder. To analyze it with heap view, open a new terminal window in VS Code and execute .NET heap view command with the dump file name as a parameter. At the top of the opened window, we can see all objects that are now in memory. Choose an object to get the list of objects that hold this object in memory. Notice that direct reference leak page is added to the list of content pages in the app shell object. This means that the app shell holds this page in memory even when it is closed. Since the app shell remains accessible throughout the application's execution time, it will never be released. To fix the memory leak of the direct reference leak page, we need to remove direct reference leak page from the app shell object's references. Handle the on appearing event and add direct reference leak page to the collection of pages, and then handle the on disappearing event and remove it from the collection. Let's interact with the application one more time to see if this error is in the dump. Create the dump and open it in the heap view. And as you can see, the direct reference leak page is no longer in memory. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. If you have questions or comments, please post them below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified whenever DevExpress releases new content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.